I get stuck with the crazy guy? Wrong cell. Yours should have padded walls. If I ask what happened? What does it look like? I died. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. I meant, how did you die? Autopsies aren't as thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you... wake up. <laughs> What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. This is all a bad dream. It has to be. Isn't a spiderweb tattoo usually a symbol for time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the web? He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. And this raven, it's like chained to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. Wow. His entire arm looks like a confession of... Of, well... A confession of... Huh, a lot of stuff. We respect the deceased in here, son. Don't forget that. But tattoos might tell us something. Why is the old guy so harsh? Respect would be nice. Med school doesn't teach you everything. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. 
You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! Alright, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. sickness she carried in her brain? You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now.
murder changes, the inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections, except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. Finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. When we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. 
Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, he was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either, until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old, ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me and docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. Piece of cake. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. faster than that. Okay, kid. Damn machine. All right, let's go. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? You got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holmes. Duh. Uh, hey, kid. I hate these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or, or think anything creepy. If this doesn't make sense.
Okay, man. Get out. I got this. Homicide stuff. It's always the quiet ones that turn out to be killers. shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? Hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush. I'm sure that book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out.
can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office, now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Come on! We have to find that journal. Tell the girl. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, t crap. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! 